The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rose. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the February 7th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I am absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't call in, we've got you covered. Send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, inside the Tigers down well, then any in every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. A sea of green, so to speak. A little bit of a mixed bag. The mix coming from the Russell off about four points. Dow's up 170. S&P 35. NASDAQ 100, 178. Semi's up 47. Trendy's up 150. Gold's up four bucks. Silver's up two pennies. Lights recruit 45 cents. 30 year treasures up two ticks. Printed out at 121.02. You've got natural gas off four cents. Printed out at one. 96. Leading the charge to the upside, it is Chipotle up 197, 2,684 buckaroonies. Booking Holdings up 82, Broadcom up 28, Eli Lilly up 24, and Palo Alto Networks up 22 bucks. We got some movers, we've got some shakers. Madrigal Pharmaceuticals, 18 bucks or 9%. Amgen, 13 bucks, 4%. Next Hour Media, 11 bucks, 7%. E Plus Inc., 11 bucks, 14%. Gartner, down 9, that's about a 2% move. But let's start looking at the equity future markets right now. Let's go take a look at what to be watching for at day's end. So first, the ES Mini, it does not have any kind of topping pattern. There's a rose momentum indicator signal present. You don't see that, but a bearish reversal candle would identify a top. Right now, we are in breakout bullish mode. Price above the top of its daily profile. It's above its oscillator and change line. Not seen here. Uh, it is in a bullish breakout mode. The NQ will join the ES Mini if it closes the day above 17,793.50. What's there? That's the Rhodes Momentum Indicator top generated by that bearish shooting star candle from a couple of weeks ago. So close above that will put us into a breakout bullish mode. There's a new profile that's attempting to form. Price is trading above that. It is 17,776 would be the resistance level support 17,387. The Dow, the Dow needs a... Uh, What's the Dow need? The Dow needs, I think it's got a row. Yeah, it needs a close above this candle session right here. I should label that. That's the high from February 2nd. That is at 38,892. That also generated Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. I'll label that uh, later out there. So close above that would put it into full out breakout bullish mode. In the case of the Russell 2000, you can see a new profile that is attempting to form. That new profile has support at 1935, resistance at 1995 out there. It is bullish in structure. If this profile holds, a close today above 1955 is going to suggest a move to the 1995 level. If we want to understand a party that's going on, it is a global party. If we take a look at the ES Mini, new all-time high today, priced in dollars, priced in euros, priced in yen, priced in pounds. This is a global rally. you got to be careful shorting. You might find some signals here to short inside the U.S., but those are going to be met with buyers overseas. If we take a look at the NQ, 
Again, it may we're at a new all-time high today. The question is, will price close above that 17 793.50 level to uh, negate the road's momentum indicator top? Well, the NQ in euros, new all-time high, in pounds, new all-time high, and in yen, new all-time highs out there. In the case of the Dow, it's at a new all-time high in terms of uh, euros and in terms of pounds. We need to understand how these markets are trading in other currencies. It answers a whole heck of a lot of questions out there. This this is a worldwide global bullish breakout market with the concentration of capital right here in the good old U.S. of A out there. So that's what's going on. Uh, there's a question, hey, where can we possibly head to? Where could the NQ possibly head to? If we just simply take a look at our multi time frame this is something you can do at home and just simply pull out the qqq series etf and in the Qs here i'm just simply going to open up the weekly time frame chart there's all kinds of a to b equals cd patterns out there if we take a look at this one here that starts off at the 2020 low runs up into uh, the highs out here back in 2021 makes a nice retracement of about 0.618. It was really 63% back in the lows that formed out here in October of 2022. We are trading above 408.71. Now, that swing point has volume of 230 million shares. We have not passed it with volume. We were up at 228. That's close enough for Stevie's work out there to say that, okay, we've got equal or almost greater volume. So I'm going to say we've got a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside on that bigger time frame. It's a weekly chart. It doesn't mean we get there tomorrow. In fact, I can guarantee you we won't get there tomorrow. But over time, where does this want to target? This wants to target the 498.04 level. Here you can see if I pull this weekly chart back as well, and each of you can draw this exact same set of patterns out there. So there's nothing, the only thing you don't have access to are the profile levels. But here are the rising price channels uh, that I have. And what's nice about that is once you get the first set in there, you can just simply multiply it times that same distance, and that's what's going to give you uh, your next area or your next price target level out there. I mentioned there are multiple A to B equals CD patterns out there. Let's take a look at, whoops, didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. I meant to pull it back just a tad. Let's look at the other one that could be out here. If you give me a second just to position the charts. So you got the one that's coming off of the October low. Uh, here, the most recent low. Well, this is October of 2022. I take that back. So if you use that October low, and then we use the high out here that uh, formed in July of 2023, we pull that back to a low this October now, this October low, what you're going to see is a one-to-one -one price projection gets up to 476. So I believe we're at a 490 on the larger one. This one is 476, but that retracement is uh, a little bit less than a 0.382. It's 34.12%. So this tells us this wants to do more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD power pattern to the upside. So those are the price projections. Each of you can take your own series of charts for the QQQs and try to come up with uh, price projection levels out there. If I take a look at the S&P 500, here in the S&P 500, it doesn't matter whether you look at the uh, monthly, that's the left-hand side, weekly in the center, daily on the right. These are the horizontal trading range boundary lines out here. 5808 is a price target on the monthly. 5138 is the next upside price target on the weekly. And 5083 is the next upside price target for the S&P on the daily time frame. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We get back from this break. Let's uh, pick up where we left off yesterday. I think we're going to take a look at Aspen, Sox, ANVX, Lily, Oprah, Winfrey, Kava, DKNG. And let's get an update on those soybeans out there. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call Newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, just on the uh, quick intraday charts here for the NQ. Um, again, the only topping pattern that's out there, quite frankly, is coming from the 10 minute time frame uh, chart that I quickly see. That was a Roadsman indicator top. Price is pulled back. It's testing that oscillator and change line right where we're at right now at about the 17,828 level. If price were to close below that, we should see a move back to 17,781 to 17,765. But if this is really just all out bullish, just where price, even on a 10 minute time frame, should find support. Support. So that's what's going on intraday. today. On intraday, we took a look at some longer term targets by looking at those horizontal trading ranges and those A to B equals CD patterns. Now, let's get to all those requests out here. We've got a ton of them. So let's begin that portion of the show. Aspen, we, I can't recall if we looked at this yesterday or not. I know that Nicholas was looking for a buy point. He got that buy point yesterday with that uh, both wave number seven completion and TD9 count bottom. You're inside a bullish structured profile. Price closed above the center of it yesterday. Price should make a run for 11.74. That's its oscillator and change line. Above that, 12.14 would be the next battle. And then the final battle, battle would be a 12.64 on a rally. You clear 12.64. You're headed higher. How much higher? I'd say 1607 to 1647. The daily TD9 count breakdown level and the weekly top of its profile out there. So Aspen looks pretty darn good. Let's go take it. SOXL for Tom. He was looking for an entry point. And uh, in the case of SOXL, all that I've really got out here is price yesterday. I got back inside of its uh, profile. was it back inside there for the last three trading sessions. Just have a good old-fashioned consolidation between support and resistance, Tom. Support at 33.25, so that could be an area to buy. Resistance up at 37.02. It is a bearish structured profile, so your real resistance zone is between 35.76 and 37.02. Let's go to ENVX for buy. Bob in Spokane. We take a look at it. 
ENVX is of uh, yesterday formed a Rosemont to indicator bottom. So if you're looking to take a long position, you got that signal yesterday. Price is trading with inside his profile. It's in the bearish zone section of that profile. Uh, that's between 976 and 1017. You clear and close above 1017, you're off to the races. Those races ought to take you up to about 1240. Now at 1062, you could easily run into a pit stop. 1062-ish is the weekly oscillator on change line out there. But otherwise, ENVX looks uh, good, looks bullish. If you're going to take an uh, entry into this, uh, since price has found that resistance in the daily sell zone, why don't you wait for either the 922 to 946 area out there or look at an intraday chart and try to come up with some type of pattern. Now, I don't see anything yet on a 30-minute uh, time frame chart out there, uh, but uh, those that's what I would be looking at. But to answer the question, if that was a question, you've got the buy signal yesterday on ticker symbol ENVX. Uh, let's go take a look at Eli Lilly, L-L-O, uh, L-L-Y is a ticker symbol out there on another rampage uh, today. Now, yesterday, uh, this formed bar number eight of a TD9 count. So Eli Lilly, as strong as it has been, is going to confirm a TD9 count top today. It'll complete that pattern tomorrow. What ought to unfold is price should pull back to test support. The support level is going to be at around 680.47. That's its daily oscillator and change line. Now, there is a new profile that is forming out here. And resistance is at 658. We are already above it. This profile is formed below price. This is a bullish signal. Nonetheless, you're going to get a TD9 count top on the daily that should result in a retracement, at least back towards that oscillator and change line. The weekly chart is just simply all out bullish. The monthly chart is even more bullish because price right now, it's only early in the month. It's only the seven. But right now, price is trading above last month's high. That would negate its monthly TD9 count breakout level. All those people sucking down all that nasty weight loss medicine. <laughs> In any event, I think that's why Eli Lilly is off to the races out there. So I hope that helps you out, ELO. Joe D wanted to take a look at Oprah. OPRA is the uh, ticker symbol out there. So let's go see what OPRA is doing. It formed a nice TD9 count bottom. It did that about two weeks ago. And that's led to a consolidation with inside its profile levels. Those profile levels range from 1052 at support to 1120 as resistance. Yesterday, price closed above 1120. And that said that it needed to deal with its next resistance area. And that was where price had broken down from. And price broke down from 1150. So if price can clear 1150, you're off to the races with a further move higher and i would say that th further move higher should take you up towards 1340 out there but there is an a to b equals cd pattern that is likely to unfold if in fact price can close above that 1150 area out there and that's really a small a to b equals cd at this stage in time so i would have to say that if we do get a close above that 1150 area out there i'm just drawing in the a to b i'm just going to move this over to the current c point out here looks right right there so that would get us up towards the 1178 area my point is, as you get up towards that 1180-ish range, it should you get up there, uh, you want to be on, on the lookout for a bearish reversal candle because that would generate then a Gartley sell pattern. That's if one would form. So right now, it's just a good old-fashioned consolidation with inside profiles out there on the daily time frame. The weekly time frame does not have a bottom. It's just been consolidating sideways out there. On a monthly time frame, you can really see that sideways-ish consolidation pattern. So to have bottoms on the weekly and the monthly, what does that say? That says if you get a close below that bar number eight, that's the bar that formed out here on January the 25th. That low, by the way, is 1030. If you get a close below that, you should get out of Dodge because that would be signaling lower price out there. And as far as that next price target, one, that could generate an A to B equals CD to the downside. I'm not looking at that. But 917 would be that next downside target. So Joe D and all the others, thanks so much for waiting, uh, you know, an extra day. Uh, for those requests out there. But we've got more. We've got further requests that came in yesterday that we didn't get to. And one was from Michael in Pennington. And Michael wanted to take a look at CAVA. C-A-V-A is a ticker symbol. And Michael is looking to short CAVA. Well, if we take a look at it, I would have given you the same outlook yesterday as I am today. And yesterday, I would say you're trading above profile. You're trading above a green outsider and change line. The daily time frame is all out bullish, a bullish breakout mode. Today, you're just adding to that. There's no topping pattern. There's a Rosemont indicator signal. 
Michael, I would say watch for a bearish reversal candle. If you got a bearish reversal candle, that would confirm a road's momentum indicator top. The weekly chart has negated its TD nine count top, but prices run right smack dab into where it had broken down from. That was at 51.16. We're at 51.15 right now. Does that mean sell? It could mean sell, but the daily time frame is saying, what do you mean could mean sell? You just told me I was in a breakout bullish mode. And in fact, that is the case out there. So right now, price is just at a normal resistance level. And up on a weekly basis, you can get a close about 51.16. It's just simply going to suggest you get back to its most recent highs. Looks like from August of last year out there. So Kava looks all out bullish out there. I don't even have an intraday topping signal on a on a 30 minute time frame out there. So Michael and Pennington, you're looking to short um, I would, I'd wait. I would wait for a daily confirmation of a uh, top out there. Instead, this looks to me like it really wants to go target that swing point from back in August of 2023 out there. So thanks for waiting a day on Kaba. We're going to go to a break here in just a few minutes. We go to that break. We're going to take a look at uh, DKNG, DraftKings. That's for Nichols. He's looking for the next resistance level, and his question is where to sell. We'll go take a look at that soybean update for Z inside the Tiger's Den and others that may be following along. We'll take a look at SOIB, which is a way to consider that trade. We're going to take a look at CLF, Palantir, Mosaic, EGY, USO, MDRX, and XPEV. I love it. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey, because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors.
Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at the charts here for DraftKings. DKNG is the Turkish symbol. Um, I had asked the question because that was the question that was asked of me. Uh, where's the next resistance level? So did anybody during the break come up with the next resistance level that you and I can share or that I can share for you with uh, Nicholas out there? Because we take a look at that daily time frame chart. What do we see? We see prices trade above all resistance levels. We're trading above profiles. We're trading above that green oscillator and change line. We don't have a topping signal out there. So all I can give you is support. It's support is at 4069. Your question was, where's the next resistance level? Where do you sell? So we haven't answered that just yet. What I can share with you, if you look at the weekly time frame chart, it's in a bullish breakout mode, just as a daily is. Green oscillator and change on. We're above that. We're above profile levels. There's no topping pattern out here. So DraftKings wants to go higher. Where's that next price target? Well, if we take a look, I don't have it drawn in here, but if we take a look from its all-time high back in March of 2021, all the way down to the TD9 count bottom that formed in May of 2022, if we take a look at the retracement level, we're at about the 50% area right now. The 0.618 area is 4970. So we'll give you 4970 may be the next resistance area for DraftKings out there. And above that, we'd say price is going to go back and get towards that 6458 level. That's where price had broken down from on the uh, monthly uh, chart out there. So you're bullish in the daily bullish in the weekly bullish in the uh, monthly your fact you are breakout bullish on all three time frames inside of DraftKings so if you're asking me where to sell um, I wouldn't even necessarily sell at that 4970 in other words what I'm going to share with you is there's not a sell signal that we have right now so any other action that you take would just be um, based on uh, uh, other tools not really these technical tools that Stevie would use. Let's go take a look at those soybeans out there. Now, John is trading the November soybeans, or was trading. Don't know whether he's still in that trade. Doesn't matter. But I thought uh, he asked if we would follow along, and I think we should follow along. This and maybe a couple others, a couple other trades that we should just simply follow along on a day to day time frame. Now, here we take a look at the. Uh, these are the March contracts. This is the current contract that's showing up, but that's not what John had interest in. So we're going to change panels out here. If you give me a moment. We get over to another white background set of screens out there. And what we'll actually take a look at is not just the November soybean contract, but the contracts that are inside of SOYB. So if you want to trade, now in the case of uh, the, July, the uh, November contract, let me just expand that out. What we were looking at out here is uh, we were looking for some type of bullish reversal candle. We ended up not getting that a couple of days ago, like we were at, maybe at the time we looked at it, looked like that might be. But that's what the November contract needs is a bullish. Hold, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom out there. Prices below profile levels. So that is up at 1188 is a key resistance level should price rally. So we don't have that bottom pattern on the November contract as we speak just yet. If we take a look at the other contracts that are a part of SOYB, that's the only way other than trading the future contract that I've been able to identify that you could make this trade. The May contract also, well, the May contract did have a a, a roads momentum indicator bottom that had formed uh let me see now that that's going to fail if price closes below that low today and that low out here is give me a second why isn't it popping up maybe if i do this there we go okay so the low is we're looking at january 30th that low 11.99 even steven i believe this closed back above it no it didn't so that it did not so this needs the May contract needs a, a bullish reversal candle to confirm a road momentum indicator bottom. Let me see on the July contract out here. The July contract, yeah, that, well, let me see. The low was um, 1209.25. This low was, this low was 120, the close. 12.0825, yeah. So you need a bullish, you need bullish reversal candles for the three contracts that make up SOYB. John, you still need a bullish reversal candle on the daily time frame for the November contract. We'll continue to monitor this, but we don't have that entry into uh, uh, the uh, the uh, November beans out there. 
not as I see. These are the daily time frames. Okay, let's get to our next request out here. The next request is a take look at CLF. That is for McGuppy inside the Tiger's Den. If you give me a moment here, I'm just going to shut these charts down, free up some resources. We'll get back to the... Uh, CLF charts. Right now, what you're looking at is the uh, four equity future contracts. So if you give me a moment, let's go try to find where Stevie stuck that CLF chart. I think it's in this position, and it is. So we take a look at CLF. Right now, what we know about it, it is, is consolidating with inside its daily profiles out there. That's between the range and support of 1948. In fact, it's a support zone, 1948 to 1999. And where Cleveland Cliffs has resistance up at that new profile, that's up at 2076. That formed yesterday. What else does Stevie see out here? I don't see a top. I just see price trading with inside profiles on the daily time frame. The weekly time frame, price above green oscillator and change line, above profile. It traded into a swing point. This is a swing point from the week of December 22 second volume out there was 86 million shares yes last week you closed inside there with 74 million shares so you close inside a swing point with lighter volume kind of interesting because that was the week uh by december 22nd when you would expect lighter you don't see it oh thank you mr bill appreciate that you see my other main screen out there caught that early enough perfect perfecto um thank you uh thank you also uh, dan so here is the uh, Cleveland Cliffs. You can see the consolidation inside the daily profile, 1948 at the bottom, 2076 at the top. Trade above profile and a green oscillator and change on the weekly. Ordinarily, we'd say that is in bullish breakout mode. But because we ran into that swing point on lighter volume, and eh, not so sure. If we take a look at that monthly time frame, also a consolidation with inside profile. With price finding resistance at that 2071 level, both last month and the month before. Maybe that's telling you you can't bust it to the upside and price is going to try to bust it to the downside. Watch 1948. A close below that would bring 1803 into the mix out there. So I hope that helps you out. But Guppy, let's go take a look at Palantir. That was your second request out there. PLTR having some follow through today. Quite a bit of follow through. So what do we see here? We see that resistance is up at 2711. 2711 is courtesy of the monthly TD9 count breakdown area out there. We are above profile resistance on the weekly time frame. We have entered wave number seven. That is letter G. The earliest confirmation that that could come with would be next Friday. You have to see a lower high out there. On the daily time frame, you've got no topping signals whatsoever. Let's open up this chart, pull it back just a uh, tad, see if there's anything out here. Boy, there is not anything that I see inside of PLTR, so on the, at least on the daily time frame. Just what looked like somewhat of a consolidation. Uh, the B point, the potential B point, there's a, there's a couple different B points out here that you could use for Palantir. Um just to try to get a feel for where it's going. So to do that, let's get over to the black background screens. We just have a few seconds before we go to the break. So let's do this for blanks and giggles out there. I'll give you the most aggressive A to B equals CD pattern to the upside out there on the weekly time frame, the A point, the week of December 26 of 2022. The B point would be this high out here from November of 2023 and that retracement down into January 2024. The one-to-one -one, A to B equals C D would get us up to 3159. 3159, that appears to be the next target level for Palantir, P-L-T-R. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, folks, we're taking a look at the stock charts here for uh, Mosaic. MOS is the uh, ticker symbol. Now, Mosaic had a, a B point from back in uh, November. That was on the date of uh, November the 8th. There were 6 million shares that traded hands on that uh, day. And when it was passed, it was passed with 5.7 and an 8.1. So Mosaic actually has, although it's not shown here, it actually has an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. And that A to B equals CD pattern to the downside gives you a price projection of 2709. Now that being said, what we can also see out here is there's a possibility that over the course of the next couple of days, you could see a TD9 count bottom. In order for that to happen, there's a couple of different things. You're going to have to take a look at the close of each bar compared to the bar four bars earlier out there. But there's the potential for that. So, Duncan, I know you're looking for a bottom here, I believe. And so what we need to do is come back and take a look at that probably on Friday. Uh, give it an opportunity to see. So what? here's what I'd like you to watch. Let's not take a look at it unless we get that pattern. Uh, triggered out there and that would mean that we would need to see at least a tick below yesterday's low out there that's at 29.74 uh, today price got a close below this close out here that's a close of 30.87 tomorrow the close would need to be below 30.86 so everything is set up you just need that spike lower in mosaic now the reason to be paying attention to look for that is because the weekly time frame chart is going to form bar number eight of a TD9 count. So that says you could see a bottom on a weekly basis between this week and two weeks out. Now, next week, in the case of Mosaic, price would need to close below. So you wouldn't be looking at a gigantic rally or anything. Price would need to close below 32.10. If you get that, you'd have a TD9 count on the weekly and potentially a TD9 count on the daily. These are potential patterns at this stage of the game out there because we still have that A to B equal CD pattern that would get us to that, at least the 2709 area. So uh, what's the seasonality for Mosaic? Great question out there. Let's go take a look at that. Let's pull this over here. Let's see if we can find out. MOS is the ticker symbol. Let's see if our folks from Season X have got all that history out there. And they do. So we take a look at Mosaic. First, let's see how many years worth of data 
can we pull up 36 years worth of data let's get where we're at right now let's just detrend this for a moment just to kind of get a feel that really didn't do much to us so we are in the favorable seasonal cycle there mr bill so great question that favorable seasonal cycle typically begins around the january the, the 21st of january clearly we're not in that we typically get into the unfavorable seasonal cycle that begins in march and you can see here if you look at that bottom right hand panel it's very unfavorable between march through June out there. So um, so that's what you've got. Great question. Thanks for asking, as always. Uh, let's go to our next request out there. And that next request coming in from HD. And HD wants to take a look at EGY. EGY is the ticker symbol. No idea what it is. We don't need to know what it is. What we do know is price is trading below profile support on the daily time frame. Profile support at 417. It's going to be day number four below that. That's not a good. Uh, that's not a good scene. However, the daily being helped by the weekly group. The weekly group has got a buy zone between 406 and 421. So HD. That's the real key level out there. Is 406. No buy pattern or anything on the daily time frame. Consolidation with inside the weekly. You're below profiles on the monthly. Boy, that makes that 406 level real key out here. So I'd say you got a consolidation just on the weekly time frame. Um, not much more than that that I can provide to you. I would if I could. I can't, so I won't. How about that? I'll tell you what I'll do. The 30-minute time frame chart has got a TD9 count bottom, and that would suggest that price should go target its TD9 count breakdown area, and that's at $4.18 out there. So that's what I have on an intraday base for ticker symbol E G. Why? HD also wanted to take a look at that uh, uh, ETF called USO. You know what that means? That means light sweet crude. But the question with regard to those ETFs is what's inside it? If you don't know what's inside it, you could end up making the wrong decisions. For example, March is the active contract for USO. I would ask you this question. What percentage is March of that contract of USO? What percentage? Well, all you have to do is go to the Internet, go to USCF, uh, and that is going to be the uh, uh, the entity that uh, controls this ETF, USO. And here what we can see, holdings as of yesterday's close, you got 50% of them are inside of or the market value. You've got the H, the uh, March contract, you've got $737 million. Uh, dollars invested and about half a million, half a billion, half a billion, I should say, 500 million, 737 million, half a billion in the April contract. So you need to be paying attention to both of those. The other stuff down there, there's not too much you can do about that. So you've got to be paying attention to both of those contracts. But here, let's just start with the March contract on the daily time frame. What we can see here is that price and cloud just expanded out. And we'll make sure we're all looking at the exact same chart. Price closed below the bottom of that daily profile was bullish in structure. It did so on March, on February 2nd. It did so on February 5th. Yesterday, price got back inside there, found resistance at that center. Today, it's also found resistance at that center line and its oscillator and change line. Only a close above that oscillator and change line, which is currently at 74.10, would put this into a bullish position. I believe you were looking to go long the USO. So I'd want to see light speed crude at least close above that. Now let's go take a look at the other contract. Uh, for that, we're going to go ahead and change our screens. Hopefully, I'll remember to change back. Here, we're going to take a look at the April contract for Light Speed Crude and just see what its signal is. So that's the left-hand side. And here, we can see that price was below the bottom of its daily bullish structured profile, two consecutive sessions, price doing the same thing. So what we would say here is if you can get a close, let's call it 74.10. If you get a close on the April contract above 74.10, you're likely to see a rally into 78.43. Then we're likely to see a rally inside of USO. Here's a daily in the weekly. The daily time frame chart uh, shows us HD that price is running resistance at its oscillator and change line at 69.37. Daily chart, this is bullish in structure. That would say a close above 69.70, which suggests that we had higher higher being 72.69 but i would take my p's and q's from the march and april light sweet crude contract because of its makeup inside of uso so hd i hope that helped you out with regard to those two requests as always thanks so much for your participation we have a request to go take a look at mdrx that is from none other than brent in martinez california so let's see if we can get back to uh, those charts find out where we might have put that is it here is that MDRX? No, that was EGY. So I'm thinking maybe 
MDRX is right there. So we take a look at MDRX. I believe Brent is looking for a bottom. So what we have out here, Brent, right now is we have uh, price trading below profile. Bar number six of a TD9 count on the daily time frame. Rhodes momentum indicator signal that has been triggered. That needs a bullish reversal candle to enter a long position. Let's update the charts on the weekly chart. The weekly chart has the same kind of pattern. It's negated a TD9 count bottom. It's trading below profile levels out there. It also needs a bullish reversal candle. On the monthly time frame chart, the monthly time frame chart for M, M, oh, am I not on the right screen? No, geez, Louise. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Told you I would screw it up, and I did. But that's okay. We got enough wing men and women in the audience to help us out. So here, you can see we're below profile in the daily, below red oscillator and change line. Same conditions on the weekly, same conditions on the monthly. So, Brent, I would say that Mad uh, MDRX, what is MDRX? I'm going to guess it's a prescription company of some sort. MDRX is Veridigium. Well, Veridigium wants lower price, Brent. That's all that I've got for you as we speak right now. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We come back. Let's take a look at Tesla for Vic. Steve Rhodes, TFNN. Be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. One last uh, piece of information on uh, Veridigium MDRX out there. There is an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside, so any bullish reversal candle on the daily time frame would confirm a buy the D point pattern out there. Uh, we had a request to take a look at XPEV. I believe that is a China 
uh, ETF for electric uh, vehicles out there. It's got a nice TD9 count bottom on the weekly time frame, so this should continue to rally. Resistance 891, 936, and then 1048 out there. Let's take a quick peek here at um, Tesla uh, for Vic. Tesla generated the long signal yesterday. It confirmed a road momentum indicator bottom pattern. It's got a new profile that is forming today. Support at 181.42, resistance at 192.09. I wouldn't take the long trade now because of that new profile out there, but if we did get a close of 192.09, that would tell you that Tesla has a change in trend signal out there. Otherwise, I try to buy support. And support would be at about 181.42, unless you got some other type of intraday signal out there. But we've definitely got a bottom uh, in Tesla on the daily time frame. The bottom would fail with a close below the low of February 5th, and that would be at below 175.01. Weekly chart does not have a bottom, suggests 164.35, and the monthly chart suggests move down to 144 to 165. But follow the daily first. You need to see failures on the daily to suggest those lower prices that we just took a look at out there. Um, the uh what else was there that's it wow we got through all of the requests out there that's a beautiful thing let's take a quick peek in go back to the intraday charts out there for the nq to see if there's any other signals anything that i can provide uh to you before we were looking at just the 10 minute chart that was the only thing that had a topping uh signal out there that is really still the case when we take a look at the nq so what that says folks is go ahead and watch the price level of 17, 793.50. If at 5 p.m. it settles above that, you do not have a top inside the NQ. You most certainly do not have a top inside the ES. And if the Dow can close above its high from a few days ago, that high being 38.892, that top will have evaporated as well. Thanks for joining me, folks. Stay tuned for all the great programming. I'll see you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday. Please have a wonderful Wednesday and be safe out there. Take care.